The Hartford Police Department uses Freonce Mobile on a BlackBerry to capture graffiti locations and images. For the city, it is important to capture images of the graffiti to identify the perpetrator as well as to map the locations of the graffiti. The information collected is being used to obtain arrest warrants and collect restitution for the damage done to property. GIS Project Manager Brett Flodeen and Hartford Police Detective Renee are out in the field capturing images and locations of graffiti and show how easy it is to use the Freonce mobile application. So how do you use the BlackBerry application to locate them? Okay, so we have a program on here. And I start the I start the, the, the collecting program. And I have to turn on the GPS. And then just have to wait a minute for the GPS to come on. graffiti have you actually located with them? Um, I think we're up to about a thousand, a thousand pieces or a thousand tags on the map. So, okay, so the GPS system is on now. So now I have a data collection screen. So I know his tag name is Quote. So I can type K-W-O-T-E in there. I'm, I'm guessing based on this, that he's one of the, he's with the Lost Sons of Zion. So I can type that in, I can type the crew name in. So it's LSZ. I don't know his name, I haven't identified him yet, so I can't type in his name, but I can enter that later. And then I have some uh, empty data fields in here. And usually what I'll do here is I'll just type in railroad tunnel. So even though it'll be on the map, it'll give me an idea that it's a piece on a railroad tunnel. And then I take the picture. And it takes, it takes a pretty good picture. And then I save the record. And I start walking until I find another one and take the picture of that. So hello, we're with Renee from the Hartford Police Department and we're using a BlackBerry application uh, by Freonce to locate graffiti in the city of Hartford and help combat it. And so, Renee, how are, what are we looking at? We're looking at uh, a graffiti of a vandal who's GA1 NSK, and um, we've, we've almost positively identified him. We actually identified him uh, with some information we got from the street, plus he also posts his information on YouTube. So, uh, based on some search warrants, First IP address and things like that, we've gotten to the point where we can pretty much identify him. Um, but this is his tag. It's a small letter G and a small letter A, and then NSK is his crew. And um, so we're going to take a picture of this using a program. So I've got the program on, I've got the GPS on. So I know it's GA1 NSK. So I can type that into his tag name. And then I know his crew is NSK, so I can put that. In the crew field, NSK. And then once I get him identified, I can go back in and put his name, his date of birth, his address, his phone number. Um, and just for my purposes, I generally will type in the address. So even though this is on a map, I just like to type it in there. So this is 25. And this is Franklin Avenue, and Franklin Avenue is one of our um, uh, more commercial avenues. We have a lot of restaurants, a lot of businesses. Uh, the Merchant Association here is very vocal and very strong. So um, we're, we're focusing on cleaning up the graffiti in this area, um, just because it's a busy commercial area. So then I hit take picture. Take the picture. program allows me to save the record. It's posted to our uh, SDE database and um, from there it's available through a flex viewer so you can view it after, after the record's saved. Right, so I could go in and I could search by tag name or I could search by location. Um, I could search by any of these variables and then it'll show me on a map of the city, a digital map of the city, it'll show me all the points um, so, for example, if I search GA1, 
It'll show me all the GA1s that I've located and photographed in the city. And then I can use that information in my warrants. And then we also provide that map, a copy of that map. We provide that to the court as part of the search warrant so that the prosecutor and the judge can see um, so they can get a, a graphic visual of what they're reading.